All right. What's up, guys? All right, we're back on the Stereon. I just purchased some welding wire, so we're good to go. Uh, now I'm just a little worried about the argon gas that I that I might have very little of, but uh, it should be okay. It should be okay. I, I haven't used it that much, so all right, hopefully. All right, now where we last left off, um, we welded up that bar underneath. So I got to finish welding up that bar. And also what we're going to do today is actually um, weld in some gussets, like I had mentioned before. And what we decided to do, uh, we're, st we're still not 100%, but this seems to be working. Uh, it be the, the way to go, I mean, is um, we took this uh, cardboard just to make our, um, our markup or our mock up or stencil, whatever you want to call it. And then what we're going to wind up doing is uh, welding a piece up here like this so we can run a, a bead under here on each side of the bar and then run a bead from here on the cross member and then with that welded there we can add in the side pieces kind of come in a little bit on a triangle like this and then once again weld down here and then weld along that lower triangle part right there so um, that seems a be the way to go right now and then we can box in the top after uh, and then what I'm gonna wind up doing also is tech welding uh, the lower mount the mount um, couplers or acceptors right here just uh, that's gonna probably be the best way to mark it and then bolt it down and then uh, cut the weld off so yeah I'm going to go ahead and get that done so let me um, we're gonna trace these back onto uh, uh, thick gauge metal uh, it's pretty much the same thickness as the factory cross member here so it's gonna match up pretty good so uh, let me get to cutting and uh, we'll keep you posted all right guys we got the thick gauge still a matching gauge of the um, factory cross member right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little uh, stencils here and we're just gonna go ahead and etch them right here and then we're gonna cut those pieces off just on each corner to make it easy for us uh, we're going to start just doing that one side, and then uh, the other side we're going to have to remeasure because the cuts aren't equal. So what we're going to have to do is uh, we're going to have to remake stencils for it using the cardboard, and then come back here and cut those out. All right, now that I got all my gussets uh, cut out cut out already from the from the steel plate, um, while I was waiting for these to cool, I went ahead and cut our intake manifold. Show you what we did here. We decided to cut it at the flange. We couldn't decide. We couldn't uh, make up our minds whether if we wanted to cut it from here on the tank side or here on the flange side. Uh, we decided to cut it from the flange side and um, see how that turned out. Now the problem that we have is obviously we can't just cut and flip. Go ahead and put it up against her. Um, it makes contact with the tensioner and also our power steering pump. So we kind of do plan on running the K24 style power steering pump still. Uh, you can see it's there's there's no way that that's ever gonna reach there. So uh, I mean uh, one of the options I guess we can do a power steering relocation, but that still leaves that little junker right there in our way. I'm not sure 100% if we can cut that off if it even needs that. So I think what we're going to do is actually um, just extend our runners out. It's about seven and a half inches from here to here um, to where we determined where the best place for it's going to be. So it'll pretty much be out about right there. And um, it puts the throttle body flange in a pretty decent location. So we can, when we make our intercooler piping, we can run it through there and come out through that little window right there. So I, uh, I think that's what we're going to wind up doing. Um, we're probably going to wind up cutting these shorter and just and then we're going to sand these. Um, we're going to grind these flat right here all the way down to the flange and um, cut the runner off and just add our own pipe here and then weld the, the aluminum back together. So um, I know the these intake manifolds are, are actually meant for a short runner, uh, maybe extending the um, the the runners might not be the best choice, but I mean, I think it'll look pretty cool. 
and uh, you know it might help actually help in the in the top end with this and um oh uh, we're just gonna pour a bunch of boost to make up for it anyway so okay so let me uh get i'm gonna go ahead and um hook up my welder we already put the new welding wire in it and um we're gonna go ahead and finish up the cross member for tonight uh, another update as far as our turbo goes we decided to actually just go budget on it uh, we're gonna use a um no name brand uh, header and i believe we're for, that's actually meant for like an rsx it's a, it's a bottom mount we do prefer it to be top mount so we're gonna modify that one too uh, that one's made of stainless steel so shouldn't have any trouble welding that up uh we're probably gonna cut the runners like how we did our intake manifold flip it and um put our flange out so we do plan on having our turbo sit out at an angle like this so um jericho went ahead and already ordered those pieces uh, I think, no, okay, he didn't order the turbo yet. Uh, we're still in dis not certain on what turbo we're going to run. I'm, I'm thinking some sort of, uh, like a GT35 style, um, maybe a GT3571, something like that. Just some, uh, just a, like a knockoff brand. Just, we really want to get this thing up and running. Uh, it's it's okay if it's if it's budget for now. I mean, I mean, uh, it's a junkyard motor. <laughs> it should be okay. I mean... We do have a quote. We do have a, a deadline for this. We said we want to have it done before the end of the year. Uh, all these like little uh, hangups we're having right now, like welding wire and and just um, parts. Now our intake manifold isn't working how we plan. Well, how we were hoping for it to work out. Um, uh, so yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna stay on a budget so we can just stay on task and uh, get this thing up and running. I mean, we still need to do suspension on it. Uh, we still need to uh, do our fuel on it. Uh, I did send Jericho a list of parts that we're going to need. So uh, he's getting on that and um, getting everything ordered up as fast as he can. And uh, also, we do have another reason why we kind of want to hurry up on this is we do have a few other projects that we want to get on. Uh, and then I, these, there's other people who want to do projects with us that, you know, we're putting them on hold so we can get this done. And I mean, it's just just so much to do, and uh, it's just never enough time. And uh, another thing we want to actually do too, just on a side note, maybe next next episode or so, I do plan to actually paint my Mitsubishi. You can see my my paint is gross. All my clear coat is pretty much gone. Uh, I had a friend paint this for me uh, quite a few years back. I'd say already like almost ten years ago, uh, he painted it for me. And, um, well, you know, the California sun does it. So you see I don't got the clear coat all coming off of my roof. Uh, I really don't have any dents in it, though. You can see the clear coat coming off of here. Uh, I might have little pings here and there. But I, you, really can't, you really can't see it. And um, we, we plan to do it with rattle cans. Uh, we plan, I not really, I'm going to use a similar color to what I have, just probably a more brighter silver and then we're going to clear it we're going to we're going to spend most of the time prepping it sanding it and everything so you stay tuned for that i mean there's a lot of pieces on this car i mean we're going to take off the bumper uh you will not believe how many pieces are in this bumper alone and uh the hood you know take, taking out the vents and also um painting the the door frames too these need to get repainted right here that are already all fading out you see my where I used to have my window visors and they they flew off one day. <laughs> so, but uh, we do plan to do the best job we possibly can do. We are going to remove door door handles and everything, sand the crap out of it, get it prepped, spray her down, and then clear her out. And uh, hopefully, we get a really good result. Now, I'm pretty sure we will. So, stay tuned for that one. So, anyway, so back on this guy. Let me get my welder all hooked up. And then we're gonna we're gonna finish off that that cross member, and then start taking measurements for, on um, the gussets for the for the left side over there on the driver's side. You know what? Before we start, my wife came out and um, laid down a plate of the snacks she made. Uh, they are like an Indonesian. Um, I'm calling them an Indonesian wonton. They do have like a, almost like a chicken pot pie. Flavor. They're really delicious. What do you oh, think? Really good. Yeah. She makes it all by hand, so. Bless her heart. 
Thank you, dear. Thank they are you. delicious. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, we decided to move on to the next phase here, um, just so we can get a, a better, you know, welding the gussets on here while the cross member still attached is probably not the best idea. So um, I went ahead and threw a little bit more weld on the bar on both sides. I also went ahead and tacked the, the uh, engine mount, the engine mounts right here. So when we unbolt it right now, uh, I also threw tacks up here because um, the factory the factory uh, welding on it is just a just a few spot welds on on this whole cross member that holds it together, and you know that's. I mean, I'm sure that was strong at, at one time, but uh, us hacking it up like how we did. I mean, I forgot to mention that we even hacked up the the old mounts, which started from up here and did like a big old arch down to here. So those are no longer those are no longer there, obviously. They're actually right there on the floor, all cut up. So that was probably most of the structural integrity that we took out of it. So what we're gonna wind up doing is, see this right here? There's actually only about two or three spot welds that hold this entire cross member up to this bracket, which is bolted to the frame right now. So uh, yeah, it's probably not gonna hold our project, you know, for the long run. So uh, I just threw a tack there, just in case, when we're taking, because we're about to remove the cross member. I'm, I, don't, I don't want it to fall apart. So, I mean, everything is, you know, pretty uh, marked off right now. So, uh, Derek already took the tire off. Let's see how it looks on that side. I've never seen the tires off this thing yet. <laughs> see this totally rad setup we got here. How many generations of spiders are living right here? The other guy had spacers on it. That's, that's not cool. So, why do we need spacers? Aren't those factory? I don't know. Probably to look cool. Stick out the fender. Probably. Hey, look at that. You still got brake life. <laughs> brake pad. Yeah, right. That's all going to get changed. Um, supposedly, um, was it S13 or S14? One of the one of the one of the Sylvia's um, are actually we're able to use uh, the Sylvia knuckles uh, supposedly on our spindles here, so we can actually uh, increase our our angle, which we're going to try doing. That way, we can upgrade our brakes maybe to like. Um, 300 Z brakes that we do have over there that was meant for another project, but I don't think we're going to wind up going with that, so we'll probably just throw it onto here. Uh, and then also we're going to run the, we would have to run S13 or S14 uh, coilovers on it because as you can see here, it's all one piece with the spindle, kind of like the old, uh, the old Toyotas and the old um, Datsuns that were a cartridge strut so yeah we gotta we have the choice of if we stay with this and we get the coilover set up for this we would actually have to cut the tube about right here and then they give the threaded slip that goes over it and we would have to weld it up and um, then we would have real coilovers but uh, I think we're probably gonna go the S13 route just because there's, there's more stuff available for it so, all right. So right now we're gonna start taking apart the, the suspension components to get this cross member down, so we can throw a good, uh, good weld on it, um, box it in properly. So we're gonna get our engine bridge that I have somewhere around this garage, and we're gonna suspend the suspend the engine in place right here, so we don't have to pull it out yet. All right, let's go ahead and get on that man. All right, guys. We got one side, one side of the suspension already taken off. Jericho's working. What you need? A wrench. This one. Aggressive wrench. Oh, it's growing bad in the end. Adjustable wrench. No. <laughs> it's a person wrench. It's a person wrench. Thanks, Earthquake. What did you just take out the 
You know what's cool too? That we don't need to we don't need to convert to racket pinion because our steering bar is right there actually clear. So that worked out pretty good. I mean, it'd be nice to have racket pinion though, right? Yeah. But for now we'll just run the steering box. For now, I mean it's not interfering with anything. Alright. What are we removing now? Lower control arm? Controller, oh, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you use that multi tool? Damn it. You're stuck. Damn it. Oh. So we got the bolts removed from the motor mounts. See up there we have our, our engine bridge. Supporting the motor Right there, it's pretty cool Just using a ratchet strap More than enough well, What time is it? It's getting late, huh? Is it getting late? Wow, get a pipe bar behind it I'll get you a hold on. There you go. Are you happy for your stereo? No. No? <laughs> I'm happy for me. What are getting? What's that? You almost done? Yeah. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. You know, once it's all settled in, right here, I mean, just waiting for parts. Should be okay, right? Should be that bad. Ah. Invincible. Oh. Need a little extension. on the radio just naturally.
Is it okay? Is the bolt all the way out? Yeah. The bolt's all the way out. The net's all the way out? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hit, hit up the other side. One more click. One more click. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. It pulled it back up to, to, to where it was? Okay, good. Blast the other side off, and that cross member's coming out. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I didn't move. It's still, still pretty much up there. Are you beating your nuts? Yes. I'm beating up this nut. Okay. One of my nuts. Can I get the nut off? Yeah. <laughs> Don't bust it, alright? Last thing you want to do right now. Alright, alright, cool. Careful. Careful with the, with the tacks. Oh, nice. It's up. If it falls, it falls. <laughs> I don't even know how heavy it is. It's pretty flimsy. Good. Look at it hanging out up there. Yeah, swing. Look at it. That is so cool. I have to follow the sway bar. Okay, here you go. There you go. <laughs> cool. All right, now we can box this in properly. Well, it's probably degrease it properly. Well, we probably degrease it first. Look at it, so it doesn't catch on fire anymore. Huh? Let it burn. Did that thing crack? Oh no, we gotta remove that piece. That piece. That piece that's going up right there. This? This piece. This piece right here. Oh yeah. We gotta, crack that. We gotta hack that off. We didn't hack that off completely. So. Alright, cool. Let's get it up on the bench. Awesome. Alright, let's put it on. get on the bench here. Watch your phone. Cool. All right, you can get a better look at it here. So we need to, well, we're gonna degrease it first, and then it looks like we gotta trim a little bit. But you can see, let me see if I can flip it around here. So, actually, see, we're gonna drill some holes there so we can bolt down our motor mounts right there. The tax, the welding tax did hold, so that's that's great. That, that works out all right. You can see right here, Zach. Oh, there's only two spot welds that hold this thing up. So there's two spot welds there. And hold that up right there. And then on the original piece that started from here and went over like this for the original motor mount, just spot welded on the side. You can see where it used to be right here, the spot weld. So it only had spot weld here and a spot weld on the other side, and I think one on the top. So that's pretty crazy. I mean, that just goes to show how strong a spot weld can really be. So uh, we're going to get this thing all cleaned up a little bit and then um, see if we can weld on it. Alright guys, we're going to call it a night. It's already getting pretty late. Um, I feel like we kind of got quite a bit of things done today. Uh, we did manage to semi-box in one side. This is the underside. So smoking from the, from the weld. Let's see what we wound up doing was we just cut a bunch of the gussets and 
weld it in a triangular fashion. Weld it up. Uh, it looks pretty good. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run with it like that, and then all we have to do is pretty much make a cover for it and box it in completely, grind it down, uh, pressure wash. We tried to degrease it earlier, but this stuff is caked on pretty hard, so I need to bust out the pressure washer for it, and then we're gonna make the holes for the for the motor mounts so we can bolt that down. And uh, it's looking pretty good. So yeah. So what do you what do you think of it? What do you think of the our cross member? I think it's gonna be solid. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot stronger. I'm sure. I'm sure it's way stronger than the factory was. So yeah, I'm. I'm. Pretty, I'm happy with it. So yeah, let's let's run with that and. Looks clean. Looks. Yeah, it's pretty symmetrical. Yeah. I guess you can say, <laughs> for the most part. I don't want to say it looks almost like it belongs there, but uh, yeah, it'll work. We still gotta reinforce this area. Like I said before, it's just it's getting a little bit too hot too. I don't wanna I don't wanna warp it too much right now, so it's better just to let it sit and cool down and and then we can move on to the other side and then move back to this side, reinforce that, and then move back to this side and reinforce that. So Alright guys. So uh yeah, so stay tuned for the next uh Stereon episode or um update. any update that we may have for you. Uh we're we're working as fast as we can. So um stay tuned, uh like, subscribe. Uh, leave your comment below or let your hate flow. Have a good night.